Hi, I'm Scott, and today we're going to try out the Works Leaf Pro Collection System on Dad It Yourself. If you guys have been following my channel for any length of time, you know I'm a huge Ryobi fan. And I have talked this 40 volt VAC attack vacuum up a bunch of times. In fact, the original unboxing video is one of my most successful videos on the channel. On the channel. And I love this thing. My only complaint about it is this bag. And I've heard a lot of complaints from a lot of people about this, both on Facebook, on Reddit, and comments on my videos. It's hard to empty. It gets super heavy as it's getting full. And as of late, it's actually started coming off. This uh, collar goes inside the bag and then clips onto the bottom of this and it keeps coming off. So now it's become a real problem so I can only fill the bag about halfway. I'm sure if I got in here and tightened up this zip tie I could get it to stay on. But one of my uh, commenters on Reddit actually gave me a suggestion and we're going to talk about that now. And here is that suggestion. The Works Leaf Pro Universal Collection System. And what this has on it is an 8 foot hose that connects to your mulcher leaf vacuum and then an adjustable uh, cover that goes on your collection barrel. They show a, was that, a 55 gallon trash can here. But according to the box, it says it goes all the way up to a 96 gallon trash can. Right here is what I have. I have a huge green leaf can. So my only concern with this one is whether the hose will connect to the Ryobi unit. Uh, let's open up this box and take a look. As I open the box, you can see that this comes with a cover with the attached 8-foot hose and multiple adapters. Uh, one for three or four models of the Works leaf blower mulcher and one for another one of their models and then this universal unit which I'll be using. I want to put this on low enough that this opening has a clear shot into this because it's not straight down, it's angled. And if I was to tuck it all the way up against the top, the opening is actually here on the side and wouldn't be able to come out here. So let's pull that down a little bit. green can, 95 gallons, the big one. Let's see if this thing fits on there. Easily. So as you saw from the last clip, I wasn't having a lot of success because, and it may be hard to see, but this just isn't working because of the angle of this over that. And the more I pull that up, the more that angle gets stuck against this side. So what I think I can do maybe, and we'll check that, I think I can take out this screw and the screw on the other side and take this black part out and then put this around this portion or up around here and then it's going to be a straight shot right out the hose. So let's try that real quick. Scott, what the hell did you just do? Well, I could not get all the screws out of this thing. 
This one here I drilled out, I couldn't get it out, still could not get this thing apart. So I've actually put it all the way back together again, and I decided I was going to cut that angle off, because even if I use the bag again, that's really not going to affect how this thing is, is used. Yeah, it'll push the, the leaves towards the back more, and it won't go forward, but you know what, it's really not going to affect how it works. So, hey, while I have this thing open, if you want to see what that looks like inside, you got a metal turning blade impeller there and then plastic blades behind it. A lot of people say, hey, can you suck uh, acorns up with this thing? No, you can't suck acorns up with this thing. Um, this metal blade may chop them up a little bit, but it's going to just shatter these plastic blades if you get an acorn jammed in there. So as you can see now, straight shot into the blower. Hey, so I ran out of light last night while I was doing this and I had to put everything away, but check this out. How's that a great way to store that until it has to go to the curb? Let's try it again. Alright, well, I'm getting rained out, so got most of that cleaned up, but as you know, if you've used this thing, it hates wet leaves. So I've got it in the garage, we're going to open that up and see how it did, and I'll talk about it a little bit more. Well, there you have it. Everything is in the bin, all mulched up. Nothing in the hose. It was nice and clear. So that part worked. Okay, so what did I like and what did I dislike? Well, I liked not having the bag on there. So this thing, it's going away. Um, what did I dislike? This hose could be longer. I mean, 8 feet gives me a good reach into my landscape beds, but 10 or 12 would be a lot nicer. This looks like a standard flex hose, uh, three and a half or four inches. Um, we could probably pick one of those up at McMaster Car or another wholesale place and extend this hose out or even just buy a whole other kit. It's not that expensive. It was like 48 bucks, I think, 45 bucks. Um, I love the fact that everything's already in the can. I don't have to dump anything to the can. Uh, hooking this up to a smaller can, give it a little bit more mobility and then dumping that can again would still be easier than lugging that bag around. That bag is heavy when it's full. Um, setting the trash can on the ground uh, takes that weight off of you, but again, it kind of defeats the purpose that you have a cordless tool and you're now attached by a hose. But if the hose is long enough and gives you a lot of flexibility and range, it's really not going to affect you. So overall, I'd say this was a pretty good uh, buy. One other thing I would probably change is the ratchet strap on this universal thing. This thing is not as universal as it seems, and I'll probably end up putting a metal hose clamp on there just to tighten it up a little bit more. So if you've got any questions or comments regarding the Works Leaf Pro Collection System or how I used it with my Ryobi leaf mulcher and vacuum, put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right over here. Thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.